So yeah, so Canelo versus Smith tonight on the zone. Canelo is the pound for pound king, and Callum Smith from the UK is the uh, super middleweight champion. Um, Canelo's on a quest to unify the super middleweight division and get all the belts. Um, and I think that's a great thing. It gives us great compelling matchups to come, uh, provided that he wins. So uh, how do I break down this fight? Well, you got Canelo, who's uh, at this point moving into the middleweight you know, division, right? So 160, 168. Seems like where he's going to stay. He's not going to go back down to 154 for anything, so we know this. And um, Callum Smith's a pretty tall guy uh, at a middle at the middleweight division. Um, definitely a lot of length, a lot of reach. You know, he has all the physical advantages in this fight. So when I look at him, I look at him as a similar body frame as as Kovalev when when uh, Canelo went up to light heavyweight, and I think that's a compelling compelling matchup to look at because. There was a there's there's opportunity. They don't fight the same. Like Canelo uh, Smith and Kovalev do not fight similar, but I think there's it gives us an opportunity to see the frame. And I feel like knowing Canelo's a great body puncher, he's gonna he's gonna go for that all day long. So I think that's gonna be something that um, Smith's camp got to keep in mind. Um, so if I'm coaching Smith, what do I advise him to do? I'm telling him. You got to you got to be at range and you got to you cannot let Canelo crowd you because he if he he wants to pin you up against the ropes and work the body. You know, he, he has added a lot of wrinkles in his game for defense. So he's going to move his head. He's going to do a lot of slick things that maybe Canelo five years ago didn't do. He's added that wrinkle to his game. So he's going to be a, he's going to be a lot more comfortable fighting bigger guys at this point in his career, you know? So you have to be that much more meticulous with this fight. Callum Smith can't look to look good in this fight. He can't fight to look good. He simply has to fight to win. He has to do everything possible to ensure that he is winning round after round. So he can't go out trying to slug with them. He can't be in a pocket with them. He needs to play the tall man game, keep him outside, frustrate him, pick him apart with jabs, long punches. And, and if Canelo does get inside, he needs to hold immediately. He's got to frustrate him by holding and turning him and, you know, breaking and just creating distance, you know. And I think that gives him the best chance to win because his body is really, really going to be exposed. He's, he's so much taller than Canelo. If you looked at the weigh-in, that his body is right in Canelo's line of sight. So there isn't really much effort that Canelo needs to do to, to land body shots. A lot of his straight punches are going to land body without really reaching up, you know, across his hooks and, you know, hooks are going to make it there, you know, and he's going to be right in the line of sight, you know. So for Smith to win, he also can't fall for the bait if he does get hit to the body. He can't fall for the bait of dropping his hands because that's going to set up overhand rights. You know, it's going to set up maybe left hooks to the head. And you can't, you can't, you got to make sure that that doesn't happen because those are going to ones that put the lights out. But in order to avoid those body shots, you can't let them get close enough. And you got to be initiating the, the offense. Keep your hand out there. Keep that jab out there to make him walk into something. You can't let him get comfortable. So now on the other side, I'm Canelo's camp. What do I, what do, how do I advise him to win? Well, for Canelo, I think he just needs to be classic Canelo. I feel like he's definitely the favorite. It's a tough fight for him. Don't get me wrong. It's a tough fight. He's going to be challenged. He's going to, he's going to have some, some, some adversity. I don't think the early rounds, you're going to see him win, right? He's probably going to, he's, he's going to need to warm up being the smaller man to get inside. But I think he's shown that he's taken the challenge from moving. Once he moved past 154 and he went up to 160, 168, and you know the one fight at 170 against um, Kovalev, um, he's shown that he's not intimidated by fighting larger guys and that he can fight larger men. 
uh, because he's going to be able to be slick enough and move his head. You know, he doesn't have fast feet, but he does have deceptively good defense and he's a counter puncher. So if he if he if he forces the action at times to create action, which he then counters, he gives himself a good chance to to win. Right. And I think that's the best kind of counter puncher because he's also proactive. He's not just counter punching. He's not just waiting for something to counter punch. He's proactively creating his opportunities to counter. And that's the best kind of counter puncher. Right. That is going to be the key to his win. If Callum Smith gets careless, if he doesn't change the change the angles to 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 create, you know, um, not letting Canelo's feet get set, then he's going to be able to win this fight. So look out for that. All right, that's my prediction, guys. Let me know what you think. Who you think wins this fight tonight? And then also, uh, does the winner fight Triple G? Hmm.